I love strong Asian men. To be fair, Nathan's a f***ing Chad. He's what? a meathead. That's what he is. He could be in BTS. No, if he huh? okay, do you like, like, do you like BTS, at, I would not talk I'm not, to The guys in BTS are pretty gay. I don't have a single gay. drop of yeah, Korean. Yeah, they're pretty gay. Do you like, a lot of Asian guys are really, really respectful. What if I have a one-incher, but I'm really respectful? You're so stupid. All right, welcome back to the Controvert Podcast, where we talk about Asian dating. My name is Panda, and I'm your host. Today, we are joined by Anaya, who has also participated in the Whatever Podcast. In the Whatever Podcast, Anaya, actually, let's introduce yourself real quick. Every time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Anaya. I was on the con the fucking shit. Whatever. I was about to say whatever podcast. I mean, you were. I was on the whatever podcast too. Not my brightest moment. But now we're here and we're back. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. So, in the whatever podcast, you're like a really feminist girl and like now you're all act- acting like shy and shit, you know. Oh it's very interesting. But also in that podcast, you're talking about how you like Asian men. Do you remember that? Mhm. Okay. So, I wanted to ask, why do you have Asian fever? I don't. So, what fever Not do you anymore. have? Just just like a no fever? Just like whoever like, comes? Yeah. Just like not... BBC comes, then you're okay no, with that? No, I'm not okay with that. Okay, so, <laughs> you don't like black men? <laughs> um, Maybe if they're like mixed. Like black and Mexican why? mixed together. Why? What's wrong with And I don't like people? white men either. Why? They're just not my preference. Why do they smell? Or what the fuck? No, like, usually, like, with white people, they don't really have that much experience in, like, food and stuff. And, like, it's just, there's not a lot of flavor there. So, um, if you was an experienced white man who knows, like, everything about, like, men. Asian cuisine and Hispanic culture and, like, just, like, every type of food and just can handle spice you're cool with that i'm not attracted to white men like just like looks or what no but like personality wise too white people are pretty dull and they're pretty racist a lot especially during like to mm. mexican people and black people it's kind of true like the the way they kind of talk down to asians i don't know if you guys experience this but i feel like they don't really say anything but it's just the way they kind of like say things it just feels like they're more superior over like asians yeah, I don't like white privilege. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being critical, but... No, that's um, true. I agree with you. <laughs> so, okay, like, going back to Asians. Why did you like Asians? Because I remember you mentioned on the Whatever Podcast, you're like, yeah, because he's Asian. He's kind of hot. So with that... Asians are pretty attractive, but I wouldn't say they're my type like my first i don't have like a specific type at this point in time but you actually talked about like asians like a lot like you're like as if you like them like you had a feeling yeah like they're cool (laughs) okay just going back (laughs) three minutes ago you're like not anymore so you did have asian fever i guess my preference back then was asian men yes but now i feel like i feel like my preference would be like mixed guys the hell mixed guys yeah hell? what kind of a ask is that like it's like so asian tough. and mech like asian and then like mexican and black you know what the percentage of is that it's like really low mexican and black guys i mean like mexican and just like any like any mix with any mix just very low whatever i mean i'm more personality but i'm saying like if i had to shit like if I had to pick, like, preference-wise, like, if there was a guy that came up to me who was mixed, like, black and Mexican, compared to, like, a white guy, well, you know. Okay. And they had the same amount of good personality. Let's backtrack to your past. Let's backtrack in time. All right. Let's just take a time capsule. Okay. Like, capsule core in uh, mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Z. Let's just go back in time. And then let's just look at why did you like Asians so much back then? What was attracting you? Are you into K-pop? Is that why? I'm not into K-pop. No. What attracted you? 
well their culture is pretty cool like i got to be a part of like chinese new year lunar new year um there was like a festival actually that i went to it was pretty cool like their little outfits they wear super cute i wore one super cute okay so what about um, like indian culture like don't <laughs> no why not just not my preference I mean, and they, also they like have like celebrations and like you know those guys that are rituals? like from dubai i don't know what specific race that is but like you know how know either, they actually. are like able to have more than one wife and stuff like within yeah. their culture like i don't think that i would be okay with that and they wear like all white with that cat right sure yeah oh yeah about? yeah 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 i'm just not into that but i feel like when it comes to why do they smell to you? Stop. Because Why do you keep asking sweat. that? <laughs> is there a lot of sweat underneath? Is that why? I don't know. I'm also really big on like personal hygiene. I don't know. I think for me, the race doesn't really matter. I do have preference where I will not like be acceptable. Like I will not date a white man and I will not date a strictly like black man or African-American, whatever your preference is. Damn. That, that <clears> because that's just bad. not my... <laughs> okay, but let's look at this video analysis, okay? So this was very handsome fellow with you, I believe, on a podcast. Don't know what his name is. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's take a look. Everyone can look at my, my husband now and be like, yeah, he's model status. But I was also with someone for four years who was fat and short. Yeah, so and uglier fat than and me. short and loves hentai and all that. Oh my so God. <laughs> Okay, that guy, he was a Hispanic dude, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you feel like you probably like... I think even here, you mentioned somewhere, you know how like Asians, they don't have that smell? Is that you that mentioned that? I literally did not say that. You never said that? No. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, do, do you feel like there's less of a smell that Asians have? I guess. I don't know. I prefer men who have really good hygiene, so I'm not really around men that smell bad. Like, I, I, I love men that wear cologne. And take care of themselves. Okay, what about like... <laughs> what about if a guy had like a curry smell? That's gross. That's gross? Yeah. Okay. I'm not into that. So no Indians? No. I hate curry, actually. I love curry. I hate curry. I Have can't you tried Indian smell. food? Yeah, and I don't like it. Racist. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, whatever. Racist. All right, whatever. Okay, so, so no Indians... <laughs> And then no black guys, no white guys, only Mexicans and Asians, right? And mixed guys. And that's that's what I'm getting. So can it be mixed black and white? No, black and Mexican. You're fucking racist. <laughs> You're fucking racist. Wait, hold on. okay, why Asians though? I don't get it. Like, why is Asians? That's okay? like saying the same thing as like why Mexicans or why. No, no, mixed because guys. you are Mexican though. Yeah, but. I don't know. Asians are pretty cool. I mean, what I... If you put... If you put them all in a room, I definitely think that they could all be on the same scale of, like, looks. I think it would depend on their personality. Like, usually, Asian men are a lot more respectful. But Mexican guys are, too. But I feel like the way that Asians usually grow up, it's a lot more strict. It's a lot more, you know, like on point when it comes to you know organization and you know a house set of rules and like things like that and like respect when it comes to like other races i feel like their household isn't as like with white people like do you know how many people have kids and they're white and they just like do that gentle parenting thing where they're like oh i know you just told me to shut up but it's okay what are you feeling you know what's wrong rather than like disciplining their kid and being like hey you don't talk to me like that like, it really depends on, like, the background and, like, how they grow up. And I feel like certain backgrounds grow up a lot more respectful and a lot more tedious than other backgrounds. Okay, give me one sec. I have this one video analysis. I'm going to eat this whole basket. Bro. <laughs> what in the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? I love strong Asian men. Uh, Logan and Nathan confirmed that they're going to be a spit. Usually men, like Asians, are, are pretty weak. They're not, like, that strong. They're, like, skinny. I see mo a lot of people in the gym are, like, Asian men. Okay. But don't you feel like they're more docile? They're just, like, timid? 
they're not as like manly and masculine they won't like choke you and be like yeah like what the shit. fuck i don't <laughs> you think i think about that when i look for a man i don't know i mean like a lot of girls talk about that they're like oh yeah i mean they're, they're just not masculine enough and then i suppose they're like bringing it like correlating it with like just like the sex too the sex no, aspect. a lot of asian guys are really really respectful like they because they were raised a certain way to not disrespect like you know women or people okay. in general so what if i have a one incher but i'm really respectful you're so stupid <laughs> is is that okay i don't that has nothing to do with anything <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid why would you ask me <laughs> okay okay back then i'm saying back then okay i'm not saying now you obviously don't have an asian fetish but back then if a guy has a one incher but he had a nice body nice personality you'd still date him yeah that doesn't matter it doesn't matter it okay. doesn't matter so if you're just scissoring this guy because What's essentially so it would be like a clitoris like that <laughs> Yeah, you're you're fine with scissoring. I'm just I'm just not clear. Like, why why do you like a like why did you like Asian guys? You're not explaining. The sexual it. aspect of that has nothing to do with the personality and the way they were raised. How someone is raised is really important to me. Okay, that's good. That's very good. I think a lot of men would really appreciate that, especially Asian guys. I do think, um, or probably a lot of other Asian men, they might think that other races might not like asian men because of the size and how timid they are so if a guy was just like really quiet you're, you're cool with that right i mean your ex-husband was like that yeah because kinda, i'm a yapper you're a yapper so. not really you're kind of quiet and timid today you're trying to well give, i like, mean like mm, when i i'm like a trad am comfortable today. with someone when trying i'm comfortable give, like, trad I'll wife talk. Live vibes trad wife trad wife trad vibes. wife is life not someone's gonna take that out of context i'll know that for a fact okay sorry you were saying what i I don't know what sorry i cut you <laughs> off with my stupid ass joke i don't know just that i don't know i don't have a preference i'm more a personality over looks and that's just more important because that will build the whole foundation of our relationship Okay, so just to like summarize it and give a synopsis, if a guy wanted to get like a Latina girl, he would find one that's a yapper. He would f find one that appreciates cultures and values. Mm -hmm. He would find one that doesn't really care about like how small his pee pee is. <laughs> Dude, don't laugh like that. I can't. <laughs> he would also need to find someone who doesn't think of him as like a docile shrimp dude and a, a latina girl that would appreciate his quietness right yeah sure okay so back in your prime when you're dating asian guys right um did you only date like buff dudes because your ex-husband was pretty buff nathan is the only asian guy that i've ever dated but back in your time your prime when you actually liked asian men and had a fetish for them on the whatever podcast. Do you realize I've only had one boyfriend and then Nathan? No, you had a the Hispanic. You just said that. You're like, I had an ex. Yes, that's why ugly. I said I dated one dude and then there was Nathan. Yeah, okay. That's it. But you're saying as if but like... But that's I've like official, right? Did you ever go on dates with other guys? Like mm -hmm. Asian guys? You only went on one date with an Asian guy and that was Nate. I mean, Nathan didn't even really ever go on a date. We just, like, hung out at his house. You're, you're capping. How, then I'm being why, so how, dead ass. How do you come up with this, like, uh, summary? Okay, yeah, like, Asian men are attractive because they have the, this culture. And I went to this culture. I think it's cool. Well, because... You when, had this idea before you guys even got together. Yeah, but that's because of, like... Maybe that's because of K-dramas. <laughs> I like K-dramas. <laughs> you, you just <laughs> capped this whole time. <laughs> You say you don't no. like K-pop. I don't like K-pop. I say okay. K-dramas. K-dramas are completely K-pop and K-drama. But K-dramas also hand. create a false sense of reality because no man is actually like like that. But that's the thing. Okay, so with Nathan... I can't imagine Anaya. Oh my God. 
Kiss me while it's raining. <laughs> Let me just throw away the umbrella. <laughs> Bro. I slowly fall. Dude. No. He saves me. Dude, when it was raining and then I was kissing a girl like with the umbrella before, she like took it and she threw it on the floor. And I was like, yo, she thinks it's a K-drama. <laughs> Wait, wait, do you have those, like, imaginations? No, I just no. think that, like, so when I was with him, like, his family was super, like, even though, like, there was, like, obviously every family has issues or whatever, but they were super, like, involved within each other and, like, you know, like, with weddings and with, you know, like, certain holidays and stuff, like, it was super, like, in depth, like, everyone would get together, like, they were super family-oriented in that sense. And, like, just the rules that they had around the house, the way that they grew up and stuff. Like, within that culture, that wouldn't be the same as, like, a white person's culture or things like that. So, I don't know. I mean, that was pretty cool. You know, Asians actually have, like, the least divorce rate in America, I think. I think probably one of the highest, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be white people. I forget. But one of those two, white people or Asian people. And then after that, the third, I think, would be Hispanics. And then after that would the be... The highest divorce rate? Yeah, highest divorce rate. Uh, sorry, sorry. The least divorce rates. And then after that would be black people. So are you saying that Asians, because they have this more family-oriented spirit, and they're more strong? Like, when you in, go... In if you family? had, like... Like, I've had Asian friends. Yeah. And, like, you know, their household is, like, super clean, super respectful. Like, they're super respectful to their parents. They're usually, like always with their like mom or dad or grandma like especially like with their grandparents yeah they're super respectful so they would think they would probably use that the same in like a relationship but you know being me being an asian i do see like a disadvantage that asians have they're not really close with their parents a lot of these asians they're just like kind of distant um i think nathan he's vietnamese right i think Na uh, vietnamese, vietnamese and people Chinese. and filipinos they're very they have a very tight family unit mm -hmm. but i think other asians they're more like spread out they're not really like close with their family their parents but i think that's just because those families have a lot of expectations to follow up to like mm -hmm. a lot of those like i want you to be a doctor like you know the like stereotypes people. and stuff you yeah. know like between like oh my kid needs to do good in school but i like that because it teaches them to have that ambition to want to be someone and want to do something with their lives and that's what mm. i appreciate rather than like some white person's parents talking about you can be whatever you want sweetie like don't worry you know like but they're super big on like making sure that their kid makes something of themselves so that kind of sets the tone for the rest of their lives of being like i'm so used to growing up with my parents you know like pushing me to do better pushing me to go harder and be more ambitious that they kind of but bring they, that, that into. also pushes away their relationship with their parents too and then you did mention that you know they're good on family they're big on family like asians mm -hmm. but i don't actually <laughs> see that with a lot of asian people like i'm not saying like my house is like that i'm not saying that i'm just saying that i do see a lot of asian families they're broken because of this expectation and so you kind of need like a balance right if you have too much expectation to become a doctor engineer or lawyer then you're gonna lose that like sense of closeness with parents and then that would decrease the amount of like family events that you guys have or with your future husband that's probably asian i don't know no <laughs> never marrying anyone that's crazy so you divorced at the age of 21. 20? Sure. 20? Either, yeah, 20. Okay. That's crazy. We had that video, um, just like, what is it, like two videos ago, where we just talked about your divorce. So if anyone is curious to see what happened with that, make sure to check that out. But I think with this, with this Asian... I don't know. I, I mean, I do see that Hispanics have a lot of upsides, though, because they they also are also um, big on, like, becoming, like, a doctor, engineer, or lawyer, right? I don't know. My Hispanic friends They're very that. hardworking. Like, we work very, like, not we, but, like, the Mexican culture <clears throat> works very hard to provide and take care of their families. Like, yeah. they're really, really, really big on family. Like, you... 
if you meet mexican like or hispanic people you'll always see that they're always around family like it is yeah. all about family it, it, it's big yeah i like that i like that about the mexican culture i don't know if like the whole like hispanic culture is like that but um definitely mexican the thing is though um my friend did say even though the uh, latino culture is it latino or hispanic what would i say both? both they're all within the same like hispanic is everybody but there's a slight difference right <clears throat> i wouldn't say so i think okay whatever hispanic latino culture i think the problem that they have is that um this is what my friend said him being a mexican he was like yeah they do teach us to be um hard working and to become like a doctor engineer lawyer or just like those high elite level jobs but the problem is that because you guys don't really have someone to role model after because maybe your parents were probably working as a blue collar whereas like asian parents they already started off as white collar like decades ago so that could be what makes the difference of like why some asians would become like their parents where it's like they become a white collar and one of those elite levels but i i don't know i mean i i just i just think that it's still um there's still upsides to each different ethnicity um so i was just like curious about like why you yeah. like asians so much though. i mean i think interracial couples are super good you know I think that a lot of them have different backgrounds, and I think... Bro, are you getting another... <laughs> well, how many is that now? I don't know. <laughs> My basket's going empty. I'm gonna need to charge this now. What the hell? All right. I think that interracial couples are important because it teaches each other about different sides of cultures that they haven't experienced yet. Yeah, true. Um, I actually went... Last two years ago um i started going to like more of these uh mexican night markets mm -hmm. like have you been to a gato night market mm -hmm. oh my god the food was so tr no i'm just kidding the food was so good <laughs> you're about to get offended <laughs> but yeah the food was so good and then there's also this one like avenue 26 or whatever mm -hmm. that's also good um and then they have it like every week then they also have music uh, there, there's just so much that you don't know and then i've lived in la like my whole life and i never knew that i was like that's crazy so yeah you're right <laughs> all right anyways we're gonna wrap it up here um thank you guys for watching the controvert podcast and if you guys want to check out those other videos like i said it's on the it's on the channel so just check it out and then subscribe we'll see you guys next time like this video for a guest from the whatever podcast coming here and we'll see you guys next time peace out guys let me ask this last question what is osrs on some real shit is it old school runescape what the fuck does that even mean what is oh you said old school what you don't play games like mmorpgs runescape i play siege whack